Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And this week on the table, not the Magic Man about because I'm not at home, is a couple of, of these Corgi Major La France. I don't know what else they got. They're fire engines, I suppose. Yeah. So have a look at this. I can't say. I'll just move the camera around slightly. You can see the quite scruffy. Mechanisms are broken. I've got a couple of these to make one good one. Mainly it's the mechanism. I'll show you that in a minute. So as I'm just panning round, I'd just like to welcome all the friends of the channel back. And any new friends, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. And obviously there's no light box in here and there's no turntable. So you're just going to have to look at it as I just pan round slowly so it doesn't make you too dizzy. These are a bit scruffy. As you can see from the top there, there's two different types. One with the white decking and one with the uh, original silver decking. The one with the white decking is the second production. Has different tyres to the first one. But essentially they're the same. So I just pan it back out. These are the ones I got basically for spares. And try and get one good one out of all of them. Okay, so let's clear the table. Get the tools out and see how we get on with this. Okay, so a quick look at this then. Now, a lot of these are quite cheap to buy on eBay, but they have a problem. Is in here. This is the lift side, and it has the cog there, and this is the ladder side. Okay, and what happens? I don't know if it, I'll get a. Um, what happens is in this side here, there's see the smaller cog there. Let's just try and I'll, I'll show you. I can't. Yeah, I can't show you on that one. Let me try and get that apart. That's it. Try to focus on there. See the small cog there, but there should be another cog. What goes up against this brass or other part there? I'm not showing you very well, am I? If you've got one of these, you'll see what I mean. It goes in there. And nine times out of ten, these are the war, wear or break. Yeah. Now, I've got the the spare part, the offending article in here, which I've got off. And it's this piece here. See this piece here? Now, that goes in in there okay it goes inside that sleeve and goes in there and that operates the up and down mechanism so basically it'll be like that yeah okay that's how that's how it works these are all the bits that I took off um, one over here because I like to search around and find one and look at the photographs really carefully to make sure that this was in place because there's no point buying these if you haven't got this it's, it's difficult so uh, you know you have to if the seller doesn't put the proper photographs on and you can't see it then i wouldn't buy it because you're not sure so anyway that's the, that's the bit what is important okay now this has got a it just pulls out the back there okay straightforward pin there which has got a screw on it so that's okay for that now this side operates the ladder which to be honest with you I haven't got a clue how to thread this thing I'm hoping and I'm pretty sure that I have seen on the on the Google images there's a leaflet that comes with this to show you how to thread it I mean this one's not too bad but it doesn't go all the way up so I'm going to have to try and replicate that with new string in it. So it's, it's quite tall. You get a good bit on there. Plus, you get ladders underneath as well. Extra ladders underneath the storage. So you can have it as tall as you it will go. So that's essentially how it works. And then down again. Okay. 
So this will have a lot of play value for a kid, really. And I can see it's fairly robust up to a point. Um, the base base ladder uh, is metal, and these are all plastic. Uh, you've got the hydraulic thing here, which is sort of standard. Okay, like I say, the only weak point is this here. Um, what else can I say about it? Yeah, it's got jacks that come out the side. There's two of those on each side, as you can see. So that's pretty good, and they're in place. Uh, this one's got rubber tyres. Okay. Opposed to this one, the newer version, which has got solid tyres. Okay. And the wheel pattern, as you can see, I'll do it that way. The wheel pattern is different on the new one that is to the old one okay we won't be doing the new one because that's got i'm going to nick some parts off that so i'm about to order the decals from black square i noticed he's got the decals on there because i was struggling to find them but i, I noticed he's got them now so that's that so that's basically the back end of it I mustn't lose that cog. That's important. Now this is the cab end. Now you've got your drivers and your, your guys in the front. And there's two guys in the back. Uh, there is a guy supposed to be at the back of there. But I haven't got him. So what I'm going to do is... This one I've already took apart. Is I'm going to slice one of these guys off. And stick him on the back. Okay. Now another thing with these what you'll find missing is either the mirrors or as you can see you've got one spotlight missing and that hasn't got any on it so they do these are things that will get broke off and and you can have you can see when you buy them so just get the best one you can I mean, there's a lot of them out there they're always coming up for sale and they're not that expensive so that's the cab end okay now it has got double tires on the back now, to get these undone, as you can see, it's got these ta tags, but these are actually flush, so I can't get pliers in to manipulate them or anything, so I have to grind them flat and pull it out. I've done it with this one, okay, to get that off of there, and there's a single rivet at the back, all right, okay, and then it should all come apart. I'll move that out of the way because... This is what I was doing, testing it all out. Windscreen frame is plastic. Got dual LED lights, and I think it's got little red ones at the front. So we've got a major task ahead of us. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try and keep it short. So I'm going to sk probably skip on camera uh, one or two processes just to keep it short. Um, my missus will have to re-thread this um, ladder because there's no way am I going to be able to do that with my fat fingers and to be honest with you I'm not great at tying knots as you've probably seen but we're going to give it a go it, so she can use this as a as a pattern okay all right and to get this off obviously there's a screw underneath there which makes life a lot easier there's some, there's a that's strange that if you look here it's got a that connection and that's a flat and then that's a rivet and that's a rivet okay and it hooks in at the back there there and there now, aerial rescue truck there you go that's what it's called so that's strange let's see if that one's the same yeah that one's the same look it's got that tag and that one I don't know why I've done that but there you go okay Right, so I'll get my tools out and we'll make a start. And I'll come come back when I've um, got it all ready to take apart. Okay, right. Let's deal with... Um, yeah, I've drilled, drilled them out, ground them out. So this one, we'll, we'll deal with this one fairly easy. Lift it off the back. And that's what you got here. Sprung. 
backs and forwards you can sort them tires out in a minute this is all attached front everything else in fact we'll get the tires off here yeah, when we think about it fairly straightforward to get these off There you go. Oh, that one's got away from me for a bit. Yeah, apologies if the camera angles and stuff is not right because obviously I'm in a different location now, so I haven't got the other facilities where I have at home. So we'll see if we can get these out. That'll probably lift out of there. That back axle. There you go, that one's out. I don't know. These won't come out as easy because it's uh, crimped in there and there. You can spread these out a little bit, actually. But like I said, I'll save time. I don't know if this screwdriver is strong enough to get in there and just separate those a little bit. You can just separate these enough to get your wire out. Lift up. Yeah. Um, I'll probably do that, okay. A shot here a bit. You can always tap these back in. You do that. Yeah, that one just needs... That one needs to go back a fraction. That one. Pull it back a little bit. It might come out. It wants to widen it. Like I say, just be careful you don't break the lug off, but you should be able to get that. There you go, look. And get them off and over. Don't put too much strain on the wire. There you go. It's sprung back in nicely. So that's ready for the caustic. All right, the cab. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. So all my tools are in different places now as well. So I've got to bear with me. That's the cab. That's stuck in there somehow. How's that get in there? Yeah, she's got to leave it out. in there tight isn't it I don't think I've got to oh yeah and this bit that sits over your that's just dropped off but that sits over there that's for your um, when you connect your trailer up it slides and holds it in place so mustn't lose that uh, I'm just trying to think Easy. Oh, hang on a minute. See what I'm doing here. I'm doing this basically for the first time. I'll push the drivers out and see. That make it easier to get the cab out. There's the lads. Get them out. Get the yeah. We've got to get these out. I think. Push them out. That's one. That's two. Yeah. Now I'll push that down from underneath and out it comes with the windscreen which has got a crack in it there but that's okay because I've got another one in here. I'll use the other one. This windscreen it's got a slot in it that goes over that tongue there. Okay. But I've got another one in here somewhere I can use. Yeah, you see, look, that's got a slight crack in it as well. So that's obviously a weak spot again. But we can do something with that. Right, don't worry about that. It's all in hand, guys. That's the interior. That I need washing. There's an aerial. If you can't, 
get out from the back. But it's it needs probably needs a new one. I'll probably use this one off here. This one's a better condition. This one is about to break off, as you can see. Okay. So I don't know if you'll be able to lever this out of here. Because you can't get it from ah, yeah. To get that out, you're gonna have to de rivet this. That and that. Do I really want to do that? Yeah. So I'm going to have to de-rivet. I don't think you can see that in there, but there's a little rivet in the back there. Okay, and the little, two little tongues there holds this metal plate, sorry, holds this metal plate. Okay, right. I'll diverse a bit. Front end. Careful with this, you don't break it, says he. Hopefully won't break it myself. Got to get it over that tongue there, which is probably easier said than done. Slide that screwdriver in there, hopefully, it'll have enough flexibility to get it off the tongue there. Can't see another connection point. So, delicacy is the word delicate, delicate. I don't want it to misshape it too much. If it gets over that tongue, it should come out all right. I push these lights. If you push the lights at the front, when you've got it nearly there, it should come out. There you go, it's out. So that will come out complete with the lights in. Okay, the dual LED lights, which it looks like you can, I think you can push them out from the back. I'm going to have a look. This is quite complex, this little build here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So you push them out from the back, and that leaves you with the dual LED lights in the little bucket, all right? So that's that one. Just hold the plastic firmly because it is quite, it is quite, oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh no, that's gone. Luckily, luckily I've got a spare one here somewhere. <laughs> oh, excuse me, French, I didn't mean to swear. Um, oh dear. I've got, I've got another one here somewhere, where the, wherever it is. Okay. That just... Oh, there it is there, look. I'll use one of those. That just flew out, just gone. So, be careful doing that. And I don't know if you should be able to get the back one out as well. Yeah. Do the same with these little red ones. But try not to uh, do what I did. And ping it across the floor. There you go. That'll go in there. Oh, gear. I think, yeah, you've got to hold this quite firmly. And just push it out. Best you can. God, this is a tight one. I got it. Tight one. Put that in there. Right, so, now you've got this piece. So this will go in the oven cleaner because it's plastic and get rid of all the chrome. Okay, that's that bit then. So that's your chassis. I'm going to... Um, I was hoping not to take this off. Well, it's broke off now completely. Uh, because I don't think it's necessary to take that off. But now it's broken, I'm going to have to. So I'm going to drill that out. And I drill that out and unclip that. Okay. So that's ready for the caustic. That's ready for the caustic. Now that's that bit. Oh, there's the area. There, look. Okay, put that in there. Right, this piece. Let's get a let's get the uh, ladder section on first. Unscrew that.
keep an eye on which way it goes that way okay goes back in that way keep that there for a minute and then you should be able to just pull that out hopefully there is a it looks like a yeah there's a black bush of some sort there Oh. Having said that, I'm hoping this should just put, there you go, should just pull out. Well, the old lot's coming apart now. Yeah, that just pulls out. Okay. And that's all coming apart. Now, the back, as I was doing this, it all just fell apart. So I ground those off, those three, and then that should just lift off the back. Like so. Okay. Now this sits across there, one way or the other. I think it's that way, not sure. That sits across there. And this was, I think, on. Yeah, it was. And this was on there. It's a good job I've got a spare for reference, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good job I've got a spare, yeah. Yeah, so that that bit, this bit, goes here. We get there. Okay. I'm sorry this is all a bit mishmash, but we got to get it. So you take that off, take that off, and you can see your sliders here. Look. Okay. They've got a little twist to them there. So as you slide it along, they'll twist and shut, like so. Okay. So that's that one that one and then it comes off this bit comes off as well that's a separate piece and then you've got this piece this is the piece on the top that just pulls out like so now I'm looking to see whether or not you can Get that glass out of there. Let me just have a look. Maybe you could just push that back. That piece of glass will be handy to get that piece of glass out, actually, without breaking it. Now, I'll investigate getting this piece of glass out because otherwise it's going to take me forever and I can tell you then how I got it out okay and the steering wheel is obviously in there solid as well so yeah it's quite it's quite a um, a complex bit of kit you can take obviously you take that plate off if you want uh, by taking that rivet out it might be worth doing I suppose I don't know. So that's where we are at the minute. There's this here. It looks like a rubber bush as well. Let's see if this comes out. destroying it and I'll be careful there I don't want to do I don't want to destroy that if I can help it going out of shot here sorry now oh, there it is just gently lift it in from the middle this looks very fragile so be careful of that, don't lose that. Right, okay, so that can be quite happily stripped. I'll get the tires off the back of this. This is not going to come out so easy, so I'm going to 
I'm going to leave this in. Leave that back actually in. Otherwise I'm going to sprain the wires on it. Because I don't think they'll pull off. No. So that can be in the stripper. That I'm going to investigate getting the glass out of. Okay. It's going to take me a while to work it out and get that out of there without breaking it. So I'll look at that in a second. The lights back in there and lose them. That's where we are. This is the ladder mechanism. Now this is going to be, this is the tricky bit. This is the tricky bit. There is a pin in the back there. It's a long pin there. Let's see if we can push that out. Let's see what that will do. Come out again. Pull this pin out. Don't know how you do it. It's getting caught on there, isn't it? Okay. Just lift it up there, you go, got it. Got the pin out. And then that'll release that forward so you can pull this off. Okay. So that's that off. And that's that off. And this is the main part. This is where your cog goes. Now this depends. A lot of this depends on the how far you want to strip this down. Um if you take these two rivets off here, that'll lift that red piece off the bottom, which will release this. Now you need to get, as you can see, that cog I was showing you about. This is where it's has snapped off. There. Sorry, in the camera. That's where the cog has snapped off. There. Okay. So we have to try and get into here, which I'm not sure whether that will just lift up or not. It might just lift up. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to lift up, not, not straight away anyway. Maybe a bit of gentle persuasion. So <laughs> the strip down on this model is going to take a while. Yeah, so I've got to get this cap off here. Oh, I have. I'll just have a second here. It's just got me other bits on the here that I took off. Yeah. Yeah, so what will happen is you've got to take that cap off there. Which is that piece there. It is. That's it. That's the piece that's got to go in there. Right. And I don't think. I think I have to grind it off somehow because I don't think it will come. It will lift off. If it was going to lift off, then I think it would have been fell off by now. So it looks like I'm going to have to grind grind that out in there to get this off. I need to get this off to get the new the new cog in. Right, okay. So recap, we've done all that. I'm gonna um grind these off here so I can take that plate off. See what I can do about this. And I will either before I take it apart, I will if I grind it, I'll have to show you when I when it's uh, ready to come off. Same as that. This one. 
there's a rivet in there that removes this goldy color piece okay which in turn will release this okay and release all that there's a little tag at the back there so this is where i need to um leave this until my missus gets back so she can have a look and see how, it, how this works i've got a rough idea how it works looking at it if I, as soon as i take this apart that string is going to go slack and it's going to go all belly up so that's what you have to do anyway you take that rivet out or if you really wanted to because I'm going to repaint it all it really needs taken out because masking that is going to be an awful job so that's got to come out but once I've took some photographs and she's had a look at it then uh, we'll take that apart okay so that's that'll be that bit right I'll be back in a minute right okay continuing on I found an instruction leaflet on Google Images with this so I can work with that to restring this. Now we drilled off we drilled off the rivet so that should then release this mechanism from the back like so. Okay. That that and that, I need to cut that string. Find some scissors which I should have been prepared earlier. And I wasn't, I just nip that. Then we nip it here somewhere. Well that won't do it, that's flipping forceps, ain't it, you tit? That ain't gonna do it, is it? So that, re that releases that mechanism. That mechanism there. Okay. And there's your, your other bits that go on there. So that's your ladder, which we need to we need to separate. Okay. So that's your ladder. Now we've done that mechanism I'll need to take the rubber off there if I can it might be a job I'll have to soak that in warm water to get that rubber off there yeah this is uh, quite complex this thing there's a lot to it now what I did with this I drilled that rivet out here took that plate off okay and the windscreen you have to get the um, steering wheel out first. You can leave it out from here, both sides. I do it from both sides if I were you, so you'll bend it. And then you have to go underneath. And it's quite tricky to get this out. Very, very tricky. Okay. And you get your screen out. All right. And one of those legs is broken off there. I noticed when I got it out. So that be okay so that can be that can be stripped in the caustic as well now so that's that bit and I did go ahead and take because I wanted to replace the aerial I went ahead drilled the rivet out of there and it just hooks out like that and there's your there's your piece for your aerial there okay that bit there all right so we are now finally stripped there's a bit of a mess a bit of a everywhere is everywhere and i'm a good job i've got this one to go by to put it all back together again because i think i might be needing it okay then so this video at the minute is about half an hour long so what i'm thinking i'm going to do in here to bear with me on this i'm going to class this as part one 
and I'm going to do a part two which I'll show you all cleaned up wire brushed and painted and everything else right and the, any details I'm going to do and then we'll see how long that video is we'll work we jig it about a little bit but I'm going to do the upload of all either two or three parts all on the same day okay otherwise this video is going to be a long 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 video so bear with me and uh, we'll try and get it either in two parts or three parts but they'll all be uploaded on the same day at the same time hopefully okay here we go all the parts cleaned up tied it up there's a, quite a few parts when you get into it just that bit all cleaned up that yellow was a bugger to get off but the red was okay it's all cleaned up so what i'm going to do i've decided instead of painting these foot plates checker plates silver i'm going to leave them bare metal so i'm going to mask these off before i prime it uh, this one, which one is it I'm looking at? This one here, it's mostly all silver, except for that little ridge on there. So I don't know whether to paint that ridge or just leave it silver, but it will be all, I think that goes on there like that. It goes something like that. So that's all silver there. So I'm going to mask all that off. The base plate I'm leaving silver because it, what, it, what it was. Okay. So that's where we're going to go with that one. This will be red. This will be red with masking on it. That'll be yellow as you know. That one. I'm going to mask off the surround. And paint that bit there red. Keep the underneath silver. That's bare metal. That'll be red. And on here, this should be mostly red except for the checker plate again, which will be silk, which will be bare metal. The base plate, this will all stay bare metal because that goes on something like that. Okay, so the base plate, as you see. If it's on it, it'll all be bare metal. It'll be self-explanatory when I get going anyway. So the bumper will be bare metal. Okay. So that's where we are on that. And then there's all the box of bits. And there's a lot of them. These are brass coated. I mean, I've cleaned them up. I'm not, I'm debating, and I have polished them up a little bit. I'm debating whether to, to repaint them or leave them as they are. And I think I'm leaning towards leave them as they are. Because they look, uh, yeah, some of the brass is worn off. But I think if I painted them, they'd probably look worse than what they are now. So, yeah, I think they'll be okay. Yeah, so it's all cleaned up, all the ladders. There's a lot of parts in there, guys. A lot of parts. So, priming time. Priming and painting. Well, masking. So basically, just get the masking tape on. Cut it to fit, trim it, so I don't get any paint on this checker plate. If I do, I can just rub it off anyway because um, it's bare metal, so I can I can just scrape it off if I get any on there. So, but we'll try not to. So that's it. So we'll see you when it's painted. Right, just a little quickie here, replacing that spotlight on there. Okay. How I've done that was you can always get these from a local cheap shop, the little pullback things. Yeah, only cost about £2.50, something like that. But I use them for the wheels, as you can see, them wheels are nice on cool, your dinky, they fit the same. Uh, and I use, I use those bits, and I use these for, if you can get a close look at them, if you look, if I can get a close look, you see them. They're great for racing wing mirrors, racing mirrors on your cars, racing cars. I've got one over here that I've, I've replaced, I think, somewhere over here. Where has it gone? Uh, 
can't lay can't lay my hands on it right away, but yeah, yeah, I just cut them up and uh, use them on there. So you got you know for this, there's two uses: wheels, and these are actual tyres on here. They're not hard; they're probably rubber tyres, and you could use a roll cage or something if you wanted to. And it's got a bit of an interior, yeah. So I usually buy half a dozen of these at a time. Like these wheels will look nice on an Escort, Capri, anything like that, you know, where you want a hot rod, hot rod something up from the 60s, you know, a bit like mini lights, I suppose. Anyway, that's enough of that waffle. So that's on there, gluing at the minute. And then we want to prime in uh, gloss black primer, uh, gloss black paint, sorry, and then chrome paint over the top. Okay, then that's everything painted and lacquered. So, yeah, so we've got it all painted and lacquered now. Uh, took the masking off. So you've got your bare metal. That's pretty cool. Same on the back here. Now in there. On the disc. On the back piece. I don't know what they call that. And on the cab. That's all done now, and the ladder, yellow, not a bad match for that yellow plastic. This is the chrome spray paint on, on there. So, right, what I'm going to do now, this video at the minute is about 41 minutes long. So, I'm going to stop this first part here, and... Do the other the other half of the video like carry it on so you'll the video will be in two parts on youtube but it will be posted on the same day that's the plan so one will follow the other one because otherwise this is going to be because i've got a re i've got a detail i've got to reassemble it it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be a long 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 video so we're going to do it in two hours so stay tuned for the second half